everybody, and welcome back to Duskers. Um, we are in the middle of exploring our second system, uh, which has gone not so good. Um, but hopefully it gets better. <clears throat> We've gotten some scrap out of it, not a lot of fuel. Uh, so if we run out of jump fuel, that's kind of a problem. Ah, motion sensor, you're at 20%. I really don't want to lose you, so I guess I'm going to have to uh, repair you, which is a shame. So just learn to not re rely on the motion sensor, but it's really useful. Like, almost necessarily so. Okay. Let's go. Begin communication. Leyland Molecular Assembler. Maintenance and guidelines. Expected per part per million wants. Indivisible plasmids. Uh, one 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 zero zero one one zero zero two one zero zero three. Glass type. Food replicators. Medical support. Engineering. Recommended parts per million. Twenty to thirty. Fifteen to twenty. Forty to fifty. There we go. Okay. Please ensure that you configure vessel scan to utilize the Halshauer algorithm. Oh, sorry, that's not actually misspelled at all. Halshauer algorithm. Refer to section 4B. Any concerns or queries about the part per million count value should be in Darwin Howard, your Leyland liaison officer. <clears throat> Reference molecular assembler counts acquired. Halshauer algorithm integrated gray goo theory would posit an abnormally high quantity of molecular assemblers. Scanning vessel with large populace could confirm or deny this and is recommended. Gray goo theory would posit an abnormally high quantity of molecular assemblers. Recommend course of scan all rooms on a class A or B space station. Interesting. Um Part of, part of the theory we uncovered last in the first one was, or did I not? No, that was a different play. That was my test play. Um, but I'll go ahead and talk about it. Is that uh, molecular assemblers can assemble themselves? Uh, and so. Uh, that basically pulls the well if they can make themselves <laughs> uh, making themselves then they can just take over the entire world or the universe or whatever um, and so this may be that sort of apocalypse that just happened okay uh, nav 2 3 to R2 colon gather all colon gin Nav three. <gasps> yes, propulsion fuel. Nice. R two or three. Gather all. Hmm. This is a pretty small space station. Okay. Oh. Damn it, John. Carrying this family apart. Can't you navigate around simple things? Gather. Okay. Um. I wonder if this room through D9 is separate from the room in D14. I can't tell if it's not powered. But. R4 and what's probably R5 or yellow, which sucks, I hate that. Um, well, I have everything out of R3, so I could get them into R3 and then open the gate. But then I'd have to use another motion charge, but you know what, that's fine, it's cheap. Um, I'll check if there's anything in R4. Let that run away. Uh, I really wish I had an interface device, interface device. 
I'm gonna move this guy back. Hmm. I could try to get tricky about it and open the door, wait for him to come in, and then move my dude out and close the door and vacuum it. I think R4 is okay. But I think I'm gonna deal with this guy first. Okay. What? That... How did that even... I should have just did it the easy way. I was hoping I'd check, catch that. So either he's in this room or he's in the other room, but he's trapped there, so... Come on, Noah. We're going home. Ah, I should've just used mines. God. I'm so terrible. Alright. Motion. Okay. So I'm not, yeah, Noah with my damaged one anyway, I'm just surprised at how fast it moved. Like literally as soon as the scanner went off of the room, it was on my drone. this one. Yeah, stop. Excellent. And D15 was good. Another power generator for this section of the ship. Um... Hmm. 
still alive. Did mines a four, so let's try it again. <coughs> Slow and steady, guys. I'm sorry. But really, fuck this guy. Stupid organotypes. Oh, oh, that's good. Ah, something blocking. It's probably a corpse. Drone corpses do the same thing. But there weren't two of them, but they seem to be very solid. Dead. Yeah, dead. Alrighty. Interface, airlock, all that. Okay. Um, learning not to feel bad about using motion charges is probably, probably the better thing that happened in this run. Um, nav 2 R5. There are seven airlocks? Wow. Right. Inconclusive. Great. So he doesn't tell me anything. Now we wait to see if R3 gets a hit, which is going to be probably a long time. What else might I do? We could dock at A2. One, two, three must be on this room that. Ah! I pretty much gave him free reign of the ship, which is terrible, but, uh, I don't care. Yeah, I don't see there's any point for me to still be here, so I'm just gonna... <coughs> okay, that's fine. Asteroid collision, that's new. Uh, alright, well, I mean, kind of horribly, but really, I 
only lost one piece of scrap because I only had 10 health. And propulsion fuel is very useful. I'm glad that happened. Let's check out this trade depot. <clears throat> interface? Interface? Yeah. Motion, trap, speed boost, trap. Yeah, great. Sell them for the same. Oh, I guess this one's damaged. Gather, ship surveyor, survey ships to determine their structural layout. Oh, that, that seems useful. Quarantine bypass. Or I can get into quarantine places. <clears throat> I mean, I'm assuming there's a good reason they're quarantined. I kind of don't want to poke them that terribly much. The ship surveyor sounds pretty useful. Um, and I guess I want... None of these are really good. <coughs> I repaired motion, so that's fine. Alright, and then I'm going to heal... Noah. And I'm not going to go to that station. As much as I really kind of want to check it out. Um, I'm really going to go here. Alright, I'm out of jump fuel. No space stations. One auto trade. Okay. So two, three, or five, six, whatever. Two, two, and two. Or. That seems like it's gotta be that. Ah, oh, fuck me. I forgot to visit the. They. Uh, it. Mm, mm. I'm a dingus. <coughs> that is all. Okay, um. I'll put motion back on this guy. Put lure back on this guy. I don't. Shield would have helped, but it's kind of situational. I shouldn't need to do the thing. <clears throat> Begin communication. The sequence of events simply doesn't add up. From loss of contact, and nothing suggests that there's a disturbance in space-time. Whoever wrote this report are only seeing things that they want to see. Linking with theory index, cosmic image, space-time, and uncertainty suggests cosmic anomaly as cause of existential risk. The objective truth is that reading, readings present an element of specificity that is not fa often found in nature. The Brianian <laughs> pattern. First loss of communication, then loss of location. Will require further military investigation. Military involvement highlighted. Recommended course of action, acquire additional log data from military vessels. Oh yeah, what kind of station is this? Whole integrity medium. Uh, class military A. So, okay. Well, Noah, um, let's get back in there. I wish, even though some of the things that stand up are different colors, I wish that they would be a bit more pronounced. Oh, that was a shut. That's a no. It's not. It's just the floor panel. Let's say ship upgrade slot with no ship upgrade. How dare! Ship upgrade. What? Info. Wish I had a interface. Oh, uh, info one. Transporter. Uh, well, we'll just grab that first. Now, three, R3, tow, and a turret. I hate these tiny hallways. This really reminds me of Space Hulk, like the that war, the Warhammer 40k experience. That is that just with drones, uh, and not killing. Well, I am killing things, but they're mostly killing me. Actually, no, this is exactly like Space Hulk. <clears throat> Damn it. I did this to myself. 
Um, all right, let's get Zack in there with the generator. I have to say that this is actually a really well designed game. Like, th this needed to be very well thought out for it to work, and they got it to work. Wow, that helps none. I can't even do anything with that data. That info. You're terrible. Well, okay. I can get through D10. That doesn't help. Like, I don't even have an option of figuring anything out that'll help me right now. I mean, I guess, like, I don't know what happens if a dude gets on my ship. Does it, if he just wanders off? I'm really tempted to Google that right now because I don't. It's whatever. It's whatever. Shit's going downhill anyway. Do I always have vision of R1? No, I don't. Do I? What ifs? Um. Well, the power outlet is probably past D13. Oh, I didn't install my ship survey upgrade. Damn it. Alright, Noah. Alright, looks good. So nothing in R4. Literally, the only thing to do is go do the D13 if I want to progress. Uh, so, in honor, oh, there's nothing to scrap. Mine, uh, and mine. You know what? Let's not take any chances. It's the only way to be safe. Alright, and John, you come back. Oh no, you go gather that first. Maybe this, this turns out to be a terrible idea. Oh, uh, it's okay, I, I'm just risking, you know, Zack. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> Okay, we're gonna try that thing we tried last time again. Um, so we're gonna go open D13, gonna navigate to the R1, and then we have A1 on the standby. This was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't help. Um, well, I didn't take as much damage as I usually did uh, encountering organics. What? No, I don't even know what that does. Okay, fuck. Fuck, guys, come on. Well, I want to save Noah. I get 
I think what happened is I took... Oh, good. Is I took damage when the bombs went off. But everything I've encountered so far has taken two bombs and it's killed it. So, I'm hoping... Okay, unknown analog, integrity failing. There is a corpse over here. Good. Uh, so you go, Jim. D12, nav1, R5. Oh, wait, nav1 and. Oh, fuck me. Well, I haven't encountered any of them yet, so that's fine. I think. Oh, shit. Damn, this game is really ramping up on me. Um. I got some scrap. I need to find the engine. Alright, well. It can just stay there. You know? Power outlet, some scrap. D11's good. Nav, 2, R5, uh, A1. Nav, 3 to R5. Oh my god. Come on, drones. Come on. Get together. Yeah, wait, okay. Only that room. So there's another power out around, but I'm not going to go for it. Um, because space radiation is no joke. I hate you. Stop. Okay. D11 is okay. D5 is closed. I found the fuel. Give me some jump fuel. Yes! Uh. Might as well. It doesn't look like it. There's no other pressure currently, so, um. That's a body there. Right. Uh, let's just, uh. Give that a swirl. Man. <laughs> <clears throat> Asteroid impacts, airlock failures. It just so happens to be here when I'm here, but I probably did it myself by blowing up shit on their ship. Um, looks like whoever's next to R6 is fine. Another power outlet. But I have the layout of the ship, okay? I can't get in there anyway. So, uh, nav all R1. Hopefully, they can get past that choke point. All right, well, not terrible, not too bad. Uh, I didn't get mobbed again, and uh, I got a ship upgrade. Hell yes. <clears throat> I got a jump cell. That's excellent. That's another sector to explore. Good. Transporter. Hmm. Fucking mines. Okay, six scrap, one jump fuel. That, that's pretty good call. Okay, um, ship can be. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Ship surveyors. Survey ships to determine their structural layout. You then. Transporter. Transport drones to and from outposts slash derelicts. I don't get it, but okay. And what's... Mine is failing. Mines are really useful. 
Mines are really useful. I can't, I mean, I can't heal it at all, so, whatevs. Um, it'll just have to get used up. Okay. I just don't, don't detect rooms with weak holes. Right, I could go for three derelicts. Whoa. I don't have any scrap. But I need an interface. Fuck. <laughs> Stealth, though. Stealth is good. Sensor. Drops a sensor which continues to scan the room for threats. That's... That's probably more useful than, uh, fucking motion sensor. But you have to get in the room first, which means you have to know that it's safe. So we put a sensor on a stealth. We'll just see how this works. Drone config, motion, sensor, and that. Nice. Um, literally, the only reason you exist uh, is mines. Okay. So we have some high, high part drones. Okay. So let's go. Scrap friend in room R2. Infestation types 1. Alien. Private. B. Luxury vessel. Huh. One of us got some sweet. Whoa, that's really useful. What's in R3? Clear of infestation and safe transport. <gasps> Yay. <clears throat> now, can the same be. This is really interesting. So now, check this. I wonder if this works. Ho oh, oh, ho. Oh. Back A five. No, it doesn't. Oh well. Duck A one. What is that even over there though? I don't know what that is. Um A one. Room R3 has a receiver in it. Transport bait. Transport four to R3. Huh. I guess that's what the, my transport does. Oh, the fuel's right here. Nice. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, three. John, John, please. Um. So I can test all the rooms from here, I imagine. You know, if it was, you know, at all conclusive on anything, goddammit. Yeah, but they're all in the same place. Fuel access point, power inlet, okay. Info, alright, can I add that? No, okay.
Well, I know R7's good, so that's a good staging point for my stealth drone. So if my stealth drone gets seen, it's so dead. Alrighty. Okay then. <clears throat> well, on one hand, I know he's there, so that's a plus. On the other hand, I don't want to risk the rest of my drones to check R5 as well. Oh, wait. 